Now, 1011 Sports with Sports Director Kevin Suits. Game times are during breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's a basketball buffet in Lincoln today. 12 games all determining Saturday's state finalists in Class B. Crete faces top-ranked Omaha Scott, and the Cardinals put the Skyhawks on upset alert. Jabin Gardner, fourth quarter, big bucket. Gardner scores 15 points today. Under two minutes to go, Ben Ellers straight away makes it 54-51. Crete within a possession. Kyle Cannon to the rim extends the Skyhawks lead, but Crete is not going away. Ellers splits the defenders in the lane. Cardinals down by just two. Final seconds. Crete trailing 57-55. Jack Healy with the game-ending block. That's got a 6-9 center coming through in the clutch. What an effort by Crete. The Cardinals push Scott to the brink but lose by two. York is in the state semis for the third time over the past decade. Platteview's Trey Moseman. Trey hits the, of course, Trey. Five threes for Moseman. Trojans can't miss. York is carried by Ryan Seavers. The senior guard finishes with 18 points. Connor Milliken, another show for this fella. He goes for 30 plus for the second straight day. York falls 80 54. In Class C1, Jim Weeks and the Auburn Bulldogs are still playing. They knocked out the top seed Wahoo on Wednesday. Off the long rebound, Quinton McCafferty's three. Concordia goes to the locker room in front 21 19 second half tied at 35 number 35 Carson Leslie cleans up the glass and scores Auburn reclaims the lead moments later Maverick binder scores on the run out binder finishes with 16 and Auburn hangs on the Bulldogs are heading to the state finals for the fifth straight year. Feels good. We've been working all, all year and now we're finally paying off. Oh, this team's so special. We went through so much adversity all year. We played so much all summer and we're just so close. We all have such a close bond with each other. We all get along super well and uh, we just love each other and we want to win for one another. The defending champs Ashland Greenwood facing 27 and 0 Ogallala. Blue Jays come out firing Luke Clark for three. This shot alone outscores Ogallala in the first period. It was 9 to 2 after one. Dane Jacobson stretches the AG lead. Jacobson leads all scores with 16. Cougar Conzen, Cougar on the attack. Ashland Greenwood dominates 50 to 20. The Blue Jays hold Ogallala 50 points under their season average. To the Devaney Center for the Class C2 semifinals. Freeman 27 and 1 facing Cedar Catholic. Carter Niles into the lane, gets the bump and the bucket. Niles scores a game-high 21 points. Second quarter, catch and shoot from Hayden Jennings. Nothing but net. Falcons never trail. They play most of the game up by double digits. Fancy finish from Talon Vitrovsky. He scores 19, then Carter Ruse doing Carter Ruse things. The record-setting senior helps finish off a dominating 18-point win. The Falcons advance to the Class C2 state championship. I thought our kids came out from the get go um, and set the tone uh, that, you know, we might be smaller, uh, but we're going to play physical. It feels amazing. It's a great feeling. It's something we've dreamed about for a really long time. So it's a really just great feeling getting there. On the other side of the bracket, Tri County facing Amherst. Beautiful half court set from the Broncos. Nolan Elo, I'll put that on the old highlight reel. Carter Sims creates some space. Sims hits the three. He's held to just five points, though. That's one day after scoring 30 on Thursday. This is all Amherst Elo with the punctuation mark. Amherst roll final score 36 19 in class D2 D1 excuse me top seeded North Platte St. Pat's hangs on against DCS Johnson Brock advances with an eight point win. We'll have highlights of those games tonight on sports overtime. Class A is up next. It's an all metro final four Bellevue West versus Omaha West side. They'll be followed by Miller North versus Gretna.